Giuseppe Vasi owed his success to his artistic talent and technical mastery of etching, but it has been said before that it is not only what, but who you know. And one of the most important networks that Vasi was a part of was the Academy of the Arcadians, a gathering of minds from all walks of life. This group, which included poets, artists, cardinals, and royalty alike, would gather in a wooded grove on the slopes overlooking Rome. There, they shared their own poetry with each other, trading ideas and influence among themselves. Arcadianism was a trend with roots in the 17th century. Worldly people of the day, who longed for a lost age of innocence, projected ideals and values onto an imaginary Arcadia, an idealized world populated with shepherds and shepherdesses. The Academy of the Arcadians, Founded in Rome in the late 17th century was a pastoral-minded literary and social club committed to literary reform. Arcadians espoused a more simplified style, turning their back on the grand rhetorical flourishes of the Baroque era. The structure of the club was egalitarian, and Vasi, though just a mere artist, was allowed to join, and unlike many clubs of the day, this one admitted women and set them on equal terms with men. When they crossed through the gates of the Academy's gardens, all of the members left their titles and prerogatives of rank behind, and each member was called by a shepherd name, assigned at their own induction. Vasi joined the Arcadians shortly after his arrival in Rome, and as the shepherd Dionysio, he mingled on equal terms with nobility, royalty, and high-ranking clergy. And since its founding in 1690, the Academy had met in different gardens around the city until 1723 when King John V of Portugal, an Arcadian himself, donated a small fortune for the construction of a permanent home. The Bosco Parecio was designed with the ideals of the Arcadians in mind and adorned with beautiful sculptures and planting. We can imagine Vasi mingling with his fellow Arcadian shepherds as they entered the gates and climbed the stairs to the amphitheater at the top of the garden, where they would recite their own poetic compositions to each other. Metastasio, the poet and opera librettist, known for his charm and romantic adventures, was one of the more famous literary figures on the membership rolls. Vasi was a poet himself, as well as a printmaker. In the first book of his Magnificenze, he included a sonnet of his own composition. In it, Vasi compares the great fortress of the Castel Sant'Angelo to his patron, King Charles of the Two Sicilies, and celebrates the birth of a crown prince to the king and his wife. The volume is dedicated to the king, who, along with his wife, was a member of the academy. And during his time, Vasi was fellow shepherds with the likes of the future Pope Benedict XIV, Prince Henry Stuart of England, whom, under a different set of circumstances, would have become King Henry IX, and Prince Charles Stuart, who would go off to Scotland to lead the Jacobite rebellion against King George II's regime. He failed to recapture his grandfather's realm, however, and would forever be remembered as Bonnie Prince Charlie. Members of the Academy had influence and power that reached around the world, and Vasi owed a great deal of his success to the company that he kept. For it was these fellow Arcadian shepherds, cardinals, kings, and future popes that held the keys to some of the greatest artistic commissions of the day. Thank you.